Hey, hey homos, homos. Welcome, welcome back, back to our podcast. You are. <laughs> <laughs> we we like to wing the the intros, and we're so in sync now that usually we're quite good at no just sensing who picks up. But we obviously made a boo boo there. We were just in sync. We just went, mind. let's just we're real people, are we? Yeah. I, I thought we were NCP. I'm very real. I'm still Joel Wood. NCP. NCP. Not NPC. <laughs> NPC. So we went to a car park the other oh, day, the NCP it. car parks, and Keegan was like, let's go into the NPC car park. And I was Which like, is a non-playable character. So my, In a video game. My kids think that the world is a simulation and <laughs> um, there are NPCs and stuff. <laughs> anyway, very not even a funny joke, but... An insight into my kid's state of mind. Yeah. <laughs> the, the biggest insult is to call... Someone an NPC, an NPC, apparently. Like, yeah, you're not, you're not a main not. character. Yeah, you're just a. You're just I'm the a, main character of my life. I don't know about anyone else's life. But you're I'm the, the main, main character ca- of mine. You're the main one of the main characters of this podcast. That's true. You're the antagonist, <laughs> and, and I'm the, and I'm the protagonist. I'm Keegan, and I'm Joe, and we are boyfriends. <laughs> we are, and uh, this is our podcast where we empower. Well, hopefully, our goal is to empower people and ourselves to live happy, healthy lives. Yeah. Uh, whether you are a homo or an honorary homo, you are very, very welcome. Yeah, thank you for sticking around and, and watching. We've got a fun episode today all about travel and traveling, especially as a gay person, as someone in the LGBTQ plus community. The dangers, what do you take into consideration? But we'll come on to that in a couple of minutes. So, parish notices. Go to our website. Go check it out. Yeah. HappyHealthyHomo.com. You can subscribe to our newsletter. It's once a month. Don't worry. We're not going to spam you with it. No. Um, but we're building it up as we go. We, we want to make HappyHealthyHomo.com a hub where we can advertise things that are going on in the community, mm-hmm. businesses. There's all sorts of stuff going to be going on. So keep an eye on that. It's going to evolve, grow. Definitely. And if that is something, I mean, I haven't even spoken to Keegan about this, so you might shout, stop, don't say that. But I would like for the website to host some articles, guest written articles, blog posts by yeah, yeah. some of our viewers. So if you are a writer or a journalist or wannabe She's a journalist. She's a journalist, She's a journalist everybody. <laughs> if you're a wannabe journalist, then um, let us know if you want to write some blog posts or articles for our website. I th- I love that Scylla Black is still an icon. She is, even in the grave. Do you know what? This is totally off piece, but do you know what Scylla Black's uh, villa in Spain is called? Or you was told called? Me. Casa Roll. <laughs> <laughs> A roll as in R O L L as well, not R O L E. Casa Roll. Casa Roll. <laughs> what a legend. Amazing. She's she obviously had a sense of humor. She's, She's a, a journalist, journalist, everybody. But yeah, we'd like to get some uh, community posts. So if, if you're interested in writing in any way, let us know. And it doesn't have to be about Silver Black. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but it can be. If it is, you get bonus points. <laughs> um, we also have a Patreon page. So if you'd like some bonus members only content from us, if you'd like to get your hands on a Happy Healthy Homo mug, they're due to be shipped very soon to our members who've been a member for more than two months. Mm. Um, yeah, then check it out. The links are down below. Yeah. And lastly, and the most important one, you've, you've probably seen from the episodes that we've been in this season, we want to get you guys on the podcast, your experiences, your opinions, your insights, and you can send those in. They can be videos or they can be voice notes. You can email us hello at happyhealthyhomo.com or you can send them on our Instagram page. Yeah. Happy Healthy Homo. Yep. Uh, keep an eye on our Instagram page because we will give you more specific instructions of sort of what we're looking for for the next few weeks' episodes. Um, but you can just send us a generic voice note in the hope that it might one day fit into an episode. Yeah. You can do that. Who knows? Yeah. It might work. Yeah. There's no rhyme or reason to this podcast. There's no pre planning. There's no. Nothing goes in. The thing just... is, I think some people assume, and it's very lovely of them to assume, that we are professionals with this. And this is a prof- almost like a media company. It's like you do realize this was just something we started in our home and yeah. just hoped for the best. Yeah, we had an idea one night when we'd had a drink and said, we should do a podcast. Yeah, like every other white man in this world. <laughs> yeah. You know we, what I need? A platform and a microphone. I've got something to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we do have something to say. And we're very grateful that you're here and that you like listening to us. So yeah, thank so you. Thank you for that. Um, now, today we wanted to talk about traveling. When you travel as a gay, or with gays even, if you're not a gay, um, hello gay. Hi gay. <laughs> um, what do you take into consideration? Where would you go? Where wouldn't you go? Why? Your behaviours? So we just wanted to delve into that a little bit. Yeah. And I thought this was an interesting topic because 
recently, Joel and I had been to Florida mm -hmm. and we had lots of people getting in touch saying, I can't believe you're in Florida, blah, 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 blah. And we also had lots of people getting in touch saying, yeah, Florida's cool. I go to yeah. Florida. I live in Florida. Well, yeah. So Florida recently is very contentious amongst, particularly amongst the gay community, because they are slowly chipping away at our rights. Mm. They, Ron DeSantis is the, sen, not senator, what's his name? Governor. Governor. Governor of Florida, and he's not a nice guy. He's putting in some, you know, that don't say gay bill. It's which, very Section 28 vibes. Yeah. It? Children must not learn about gay people. They're not even allowed textbooks which say, like, Sharon and her partner Susan have a child. Like, the, no hint of any gay things. They will dress it up as, we're not telling kids about gay sex, and we're saying as gay people... We none of us want them to learn about sex. We're just saying acknowledge we at least exist because or a that, lot of your children are going to be gay as yeah, well. Or that they exist if if teachers find out that kids are gay or yeah. think they might be gay or questioning or or trans or whatever it might be, then they have to tell their parents and yeah. tell everybody. And um, there's lots. Of, I mean, there's lots of layers to it, and we're yeah. glossing over it here. But that was the reason why we had some people say, I can't believe you're in Florida. You're spending money in Florida. You're supporting Ron DeSantis by going to Florida, which we disagree with, which we'll come on to. But it, it, that's what got us thinking about this topic because there are loads of countries in the world where gay people, unlike Florida, gay people are punished for yeah. being gay. They're imprisoned, well, you, they're killed. You look at like Qatar that did the World Cup yeah. last year. Um, and they said that gay, first they said gay people were welcome, then they said it, they weren't welcome. Mm. As lo you're welcome as long as you don't let anybody know that you're gay. Um, Dubai, mm. lots of like, it's illegal to be gay in Dubai. Yeah. Um, you know, United, United Arab Emirates, but loads of gays <laughs> go on holiday to Dubai and, yeah. you know, it's not an issue for them. So it, we kind of wanted to delve into that a little bit, like, because I wouldn't go to Dubai. Like, why is mm. it okay for me to go to Florida, but I wouldn't go to Dubai? Is that double standards? No, it's not. And do you know why I was telling you? Because I'm right about everything. No, because do you know what, for, for me, where, firstly, I'll acknowledge that the line for everyone is different and we should just respect people. If you decide that something is appropriate for you, then you're allowed to decide that. Yeah. But for me, the line is, is it firmly entrenched in culture or is it like a revolving door of politics? Florida, Ron DeSantis is not going to be in power in the next five, ten years. It's going to be then someone else. Could be someone worse, could be someone better. But it is not inherent in American culture where gay people are punished by death or stoning or it's illegal. Like, there is, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's not and there are entrenched in that the, culture. And there are elements of the country that are a lot better and a lot worse. Exactly. Whereas the Middle East... It is so entrenched in that culture, or particularly, sadly, Islamic countries. It's so entrenched in that culture that I wouldn't go because I'm like, this isn't a simple matter of, oh, a nasty politician has got in and he's trying to chip away at our rights.